I'm Dustin Cooling from the small coastal town of Coronado, California. Coronado lies across the San Diego Bay. It's almost as far south as you can go before you get to Mexico. We're famous for the Hotel del Coronado. Navy SEALs Buds training also happens here. You may have heard of that. We moved here about a year ago. Uh, fun fact, Coronado is often referred to as an island. Turns out it's not really an island. It's what you call a tambalo. Didn't know what that meant, so I had to look it up. When the island is connected to the mainland by a small, narrow strip of sand. We call that the Silver Strand. Not sure why, because it's not silver. The other way to get here is to go over the iconic Coronado Bridge. Uh, the bridge, uh, sad fact about it, it was built in, or opened rather, in 1969. And it is estimated that since its opening, over 700 people have committed suicide by jumping over the edge. Uh, it's pretty tragic. Been married to my wife, Patricia, for 29 years now. We have three children together, Joseph, Rachel, and Asher. Uh, we have two grandchildren from Rachel. So Joseph lives up in Washington uh, near the Canadian border. Rachel, with my grandbabies, lives all the way over the other side of the country in Florida. And uh, my son Asher lives in Northern California, where Trisha and I are both from. We often joke that if Asher moved over to Maine, we'd have all four corners of the country covered. Uh, we've been empty nesters now for just under a year, or actually just over a year. It's a big change, quiet in the house, not quite used to it yet. We're, we're cooking too much food and it's, a, it's quite an adjustment that we're, we're still learning to make. Ah, the weather here is beautiful in Coronado, gives me ample time to engage in hobbies that I enjoy like photography. Most everything I do is outdoors. On the ocean side of Coronado, I'm surfing in the ocean. Um, walking along the beach. We like to see the sunset over Point Loma on, on evenings. Uh, I ride my beach cruiser on the sand. On the bay side, which is behind me, uh, we, or I rather, kayak, uh, do some stand-up paddle boarding. Just learned how to sail. Um, so this summer I became an official certified keelboat captain. So I, I can take a sailboat out by myself if I am so inclined. Probably would never do that. <laughs> Uh, I've been practicing yoga for about eight years now, hot yoga, almost daily, and that's been just completely transformational for me until you, until COVID happened and that completely screwed things up. Uh, I'm pursuing a PhD in communications. I took a break for the year um, when we moved here, and while I changed jobs to get acclimated to everything, we moved on Christmas Day, which in hindsight is a bad idea, probably should never do that again. My degree completion program says I have uh, 15 of 60 credit hours completed. I think that means I have about 14 or 15 classes left after this one. Currently, I work as a captain of field services at the Coronado Police Department. Worked in law enforcement for just over 26 years. This is my 27th year. I still love the job every single day. In fact, I could have retired about three weeks ago if I wanted. Don't want to. I love what I'm doing. I love serving the community love the people I work with, and it's a great profession. After completing this course, don't know. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until I'm done. I've been in school since 2015, except for that one-year period. Uh, as far as a PhD helping um, with promotions or anything, I can't say that it won't hurt my chances. The only position higher than my current position is chief of police. That doesn't require a PhD. But I do work as a consultant for a, a state regulatory agency. I work as a subject matter expert for uh, in a variety of law enforcement topics. Uh, I work as a course facilitator. I teach new management uh, cops in management um, some of the intricacies of leadership. Work as a uh, instructional designer. I'm hired to develop courses for cops. Uh, so without a doubt, PhD will be very useful in that regard. From this course, visual storytelling, I'd like to learn the secrets of good design. I'd like to know more about the best practices when creating videos and maybe what I should avoid doing. If you look at some of my YouTube channel videos from my graduate school work, they don't seem to be getting any better. I feel like I've had this talk right now that I'm doing numerous times over and it's not really improving. So I don't know what to expect. I, I want videos, I want to know more about how to make a better video. Um, I'm just really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and working with you as well. So uh, have a great week. See you soon.